so many toys. What is your favorite toy? This one, this one, this one, or this one. But do you know that even a train, a truck could also be a toy and brings you a lot of fun. Today, I'd like to introduce some traditional Chinese games to you. No matter if you are a kid or a grown-up, you may find it interesting. After all, who doesn't like games? What does it look like? Yes, it looks like a dragonfly, and it is called bamboo dragonfly because in ancient times it was made of bamboo. Now read after me, Zhu Qingting. It was invented more than two thousand five hundred years ago. It became popular among Chinese kids. In eighteen centuries, the bamboo dragonfly was introduced to Europe. People got inspiration from it, and invented the propeller of helicopters. How to make it fly? Let's go to have a look. Now it's game time. Do you know how to jump rope? I'm sure a lot of people can do this. In Chinese, we say 跳绳 Jumping rope is also a popular game in China. We are going to use the long rope today. Can you jump the long rope? How to play it? Now let's count how many they can jump. Some arrows here. Are we going to hunt? No, we are going to do this today. How to play? Do you think it's easy or difficult? Have a try.
What is this game? It is called Peach Pot. Tohu. It came from archery. In ancient times, people often compete shooting arrows as a kind of entertainment during a feast. When the host asked the guests to shoot, the guests usually can't refuse. However, some guests were really bad at shooting, so they threw the arrows into the pot instead. Gradually, the Pitch pot replaced shooting and became a popular game. One is jumping rubber band. In Chinese, it is 跳皮筋 This is the rubber band we are going to use. It can stretch very long. How will you play with it? We'll show you our ways. How to play? Now it's game time. The prop for next game is very simple. Everyone can find one. It's a string. Look at these strings. It can do more than tying up things. Let's go to have a look. How to play? Of playing it, let's go to have a look.
Next game is kicking shuttlecock. Look at this one. It's called tians in Chinese. How to play? Tie your shoelaces. Let's go to kick tians. Whoever kicks the most will be the winner. In Chinese, it is called 跳房子 How to play this game? Step one: Draw grades needed for the game. For number one, two, three, six, you can only jump in with one foot. For number four, five, and number seven, eight, you can put each foot in each grade. Step two. Start from the grid number one. The first player throws a rock into this grid, and he can't jump into it because there's a rock in this grid. On the way back, he must pick up the rock and give it to the next person. Step three: the second player throws a rock into the grid number two, and he should avoid jumping in this grid too. And on the way back, he must pick up the rock and give it to the next person. If you can't throw the rock into the correct grade, or you can't finish the whole round, you lose. Now it's game time. Chinese kids will show you some games they like to play. Let's go to have a look. The first game is the hawk and the chickens. In Chinese, it is 老鹰捉小鸡 I'm the hawk. I'm gonna catch the chickens. I'm the hen. I'm going to protect my babies. Yeah. <laughs> 
The next game is throw the sandbag. In Chinese, it is 丢沙包 I will throw the sandbag, but it is too heavy, so we will use this one instead. <laughs> we stand inside. If we got hit, we are out. If we catch a sandbag, she's out. <laughs> The next game is woof woof. What time is it? In Chinese, it is 老狼老狼几点了 The kids will press the woof, and when they ask the woof what time is it, the woof will answer a time. And when the woof says twelve o'clock, it means it's lunch time. Run! 老狼老狼几点了？